This is Erin. She's here today for an electroencephalogram, or you might have heard it called an EEG. This is a special test for your brain. Your brain sends and receives messages all over your body. It helps you run, play, and think. Can you think of other ways your brain helps you? Erin didn't know what to expect for this test, so she made sure to bring her favorite stuffed animal and blanket to help her feel more comfortable. Erin got to meet her EEG technician that will be getting her ready for her test today. She was able to ask him any questions she had about her EEG. Here is some of the medical equipment that you will see when you're getting your EEG. The round circles are called electrodes. Those are attached to wires which will also be connected to your head to help the doctor measure your brain waves. The measuring tape and red pencil will help the technician know where to place the electrodes. The green gel will help the electrodes stay in place on your head. Ask the technician or child life specialist if you'd like to see these before your test. Let's see Erin get ready for her EEG. First, the technician needs to measure your head to know where to place the electrodes. It's very important that you stay still as a statue as he does this. Since Erin has long hair, she has to get her hair parted to fit the electrodes on her head. It's kind of like she's at the hairdresser. Next, the technician will use a Q-tip to place a small amount of the green gel on Aaron's head. Aaron thought it felt a little cold. Next, it's time to put the electrodes on Aaron's head. You might feel the technician gently press on your head so the electrode stays. A soft bandage was also placed on top of the electrode to help it stay in place. At the end, Aaron felt like she was wearing a hat. All of the wires will be connected to this special box. Ask your technician if you want more information about what it does. You might be wondering what you can do while you get the electrodes put on your head. Erin decided to look at pictures and watch TV. What do you think is another activity you could do while you stay very still? One of the final parts of the EEG preparation is getting a big soft bandage wrapped around your head. The technician will also place some tape around to make sure the bandage stays in place. Erin thought that she looked a little silly. Last, you will get a couple of sticky circles placed on your stomach and on your arm. This will help the technician monitor your heart rate. You might be wondering how the EEG works. Erin was too. The wires are connected to a special box. You'll see the EEG technician put it in a bag like this and place it next to you on your bed. Those wires are connected to a special computer that you see the EEG technician using here. You'll get to see your brain waves. Those are Erin's. Can you see Aaron in that small screen? After you are done getting ready for your EEG, the technician will do some tests. One is a test with a flashing light. You will also have to do a test where you blow a whistle for three minutes. It might sound like this. Aaron wanted to know what she could do during the test. Aaron decided to play a game. She also brought books and movies. What are some other activities that you can do while staying in bed? Erin wanted to say thank you for watching her get ready for her EEG. She thinks that you'll do a great job. Make sure you ask questions and bring any of your favorite things from home that will make you feel more comfortable as you get ready for your EEG.